Inflammation in ergonomics literature is known to be one of the causes of back pain. So we're looking to see if reducing vibration helps uh, back pain outcomes. So we're only enrolling drivers with current back pain. Um, and we're looking to see if there is an improvement in their health. So this is an example or one of the new seats that we put into the truck. And this is one of the seats that reduces vibration. And when we install the seats, we then have uh, equipment sensors on the seat and on the floor. And we can compare the difference of the vibration coming in to the driver. Robert Olson and I drive 2,800 miles a week. We pick up trailers, go to another place, anywhere from 45 miles to 495 miles away, drop the trailers, hook more trailers, and go to another location or back to the where we started from. We just transfer freight to make sure it's there on time so that the next day shift on the next terminal where we're going has the freight. So for my th uh, master's thesis in the DEOHS um, department is that I'm looking specifically at um, evaluating balance in truck drivers before and after their shifts. So what we do is have the truckers stand on the force platform and the balance is sort of a shaky um, looking elliptical. And this is the weight distribution in like the four quadrants. you stand on the board when I tell you, so you're going to stand, step up, and then look, try and look up the laptop with your hands up your side for about 100 seconds, and then I'll ask you to step off, and then step out again, and the same, hands at your side, but this time close your eyes and then oh, okay. for another 100 seconds, and then you'll be done. That fast, huh? Yep. You're actually pretty stable compared to some of the other truck drivers.